okay guys welcome back so in the last video I talked to you about examples in which uh, inequalities can be used some examples where inequalities have been used and you have been given some problems on inequalities so in this video uh, actually in the last video and the videos thereafter I, uh, videos uh, there before I talked to you about uh, solving equations or sorry solving inequalities of algebraic expressions, linear expressions and quadratic expressions and I told you that I will be discussing about solving inequalities about quotient functions in this video. So to begin with I will use a quotient function in which both the numerator and the denominator have linear expressions. So let's take an example. Now if you are given something like this. x plus 2 right x plus 2 divided by 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 3 solve for x now how can we do this problem now you know that when you have been given some linear expression you know how to solve this I explained to you and many times in the video before the last and also in series of videos about the theories about when I was discussing about the theory of videos on inequalities. Now you know how to solve the quadratic equations, quadratic expressions when you are given in an inequality. Now when you are given in some inequal like this, right? The left hand side is a quotient and the right hand side is somewhat integer. How we can solve this? Now if you were given something like this, if you were given something like this, x plus 2, x plus 2 divided by 2x plus 5 is equal to 3 is equal to 3 what you will do is you will cross multiply here and solve for x now you have some term in the right hand side left hand side and you will cross multiply and you have some term in the right hand side you will solve for x and you will get some value a finite value for x now this is the case when it is equal now when it is unequal when it is unequal when it is greater than or equal this value when it is greater than or equal to this value, how we can solve this? So that is the intuition of this video. All right. Now you know <coughs> that uh, I'll take. Now this can be solved using two ways, but I will solve using the easier method. Now you know that if you take this to be some equation, so I'll take it to be as it is. Right? I'll take it as it is. So you know that there are two occasions. Two occasions for the denominator. One is two occasions for the denominator because of the denominator cannot be zero. The numerator can be zero but uh, when it is zero it will not fulfill this equation. So for both the numerator and the denominator there are only two occasions when it is a minus value or when it is a plus, plus value. So I will take the first thing, first occasion when the denominator is a plus value. So when the denominator which is 2x plus 5 is a plus value is greater than 0 what you can say is you can subtract 5 from both sides to isolate 2x so 2x will be greater than minus 5 so x will be greater than minus 2.5 or minus 5 by 2 right x is greater than minus 5 by 2 all right so what actually happens is that uh, now when uh, say when this is positive when this is positive you can say you can multiply both sides right multiply both sides so the uh, value of this the, actually the sign of this inequality will not change so when this is positive you can say x plus 2 x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 3 times 2x plus 5 3 times 2x plus 5 so you can solve for this so x plus 2 so I am doing this because I need to know I need to know the range at which the x is the denominator is positive so if the denominator is positive you can cross multiply like this and solve for x so and when x, uh, this one is positive so x plus 2 is greater than or equal to two, uh, 3 times 2x is 6x plus 3 times 5 is 15 so you can solve, you can take this x this side and this one this side. So 2 minus 15 is minus 13. 
this will be 5x so x will be less than or equal to minus 13 by 5 so minus 13 by 5 is minus 2 3 upon 5 which is minus 2.6 so x will be it will be less than or equal to minus 2.6 now draw this on a Cartesian axis or on the number line and see whether this solution satisfies the equation that is needed to solu uh, satisfy this now if you draw it on a number line if you draw it on a number line You will place minus 2.6 somewhere here. Minus 2.6 somewhere here. So it's less than or equal. So since it's equal, we have to color this. And it's less than, so it should be in this region. Right? It should be in this region. Now where is 2.5? Now, now in, according to this, you can also write this as x is greater than minus 2.5. X is greater than minus 2.5. Now, where is minus 2.5? So, minus 2.5 is somewhere here. Minus 2.6 is here. So, this is x axis. So, minus 2.5 should be somewhere here. So, x is greater than minus 2.5. Is that now you have to color this? Color this. You don't have to color this. This is an uh, uncolored circuit. And since x is greater than, you have to. This region. Now, what I'm asking is, is there any region that is common to both these equations? Now, in order to satisfy this, you have to satisfy this. Conversely, in order to satisfy this, you have to satisfy this. So, what actually means is that if 2x plus 5 is greater than 0, if there's a solution for x, if 2x plus 5 is greater than 0, if the denominator is greater than 0, there should be a solution that is common to both these inequalities. So, since there is no solution that is common to both these inequalities, we have to reject, reject this consideration. We have to reject this consideration because there is no common region both to these inequalities. Now, if you take the next inequality, take the next inequality, we will take it to be something like this. So, you know that when the denominator is positive that you can take it. For the second location or the second consideration you have to take second consideration you have to take is when the denominator is negative when the denominator is negative when the denominator is negative what you can say is that uh, now you have to find the solution range when the where the denominator is negative so since 2x plus y is uh, less than 0 you can say 2x is less than minus 5 by 2 so x should be, sorry, uh, x is less than minus 5 by 2, right? x is less than minus 5 by 2. So this is the equation number 2 I am taking, right? Equation number 2 I am taking. So what actually happens? What actually happens is that now I can also take this as x is less than minus 2.5. I take this to be equation 2. Take this to be equation 2. So, uh, if the denominator is negative, what we have to do is we have to switch, you have to switch the signs. So, when x plus 2 divided by 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 3, 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 3, if the denominator is negative, if you are cross multiplying here, cross multiplying here, you have to change the sign. So, changing the sign means x plus 2 will be less than or equal to 3 times 2x plus 5 because x is negative x is negative all right so we are solve this again so x plus 2 is less than or equal to 3 times 2x 3 times 2x is 6x plus 3 times 5 is 15 i take x here and here minus so it will be 2 minus 15 is minus 13 minus 13 will be less than or equal to 5x so x will be greater than or equal to minus 13 by 5 so minus 13 by 5 we found a little while ago which is minus 2.6 minus 2.6 
right? So if I draw this, if I draw this on a number line, I'll get something like this. So this is my axis of the number line. So first of all, I will mark minus 2.5. It's on the here. And minus 2.6 as well. So minus 2.6 is actually less than minus 2.5. So it will be in this direction. Somewhere here. Minus 2.6. Now, where am I to mark the ranges? Alright. So from the second equation, from the second equation, you can say that x is less than minus 2.5. So it is only less than, it is not equal. So it will be an uncolored circle. And since it is less than, it should be in the this direction, in the left hand side. In the minus direction. And from this solution, you can say x is greater than or equal to minus 2.6. x is greater than or equal to minus 2.6. So since it is greater than or equal, you have to color this circle. And since it is greater than, you have to use this one. Now, is there a common region common to both these inequalities? There is. Now, this region this region satisfies both these inequalities so that is actually from minus 2.6 which is included to 2.5 which is not included because it is not equal to 2.5 it's just touching just touching 2.5 so the range of values that satisfies the quotient function that satisfies the quotient function x plus 2 divided by 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 3 will be within the range minus 2.6 and 2.5 so that's about a simple solution a simple problem in which quotient functions are introduced and you have to use linear right you are using both a linear expression for the numerator and that for the numer uh, denominator as well so in the next video i'll be talking about uh, quotient functions when you are using contradict expressions see you then